So what is will? In the faith community, we talk a lot about God's will, but do we know what will really is? Let's just go into the definition. As a verb, will means expressing inevitable events. As a noun, will means deliberate or fixed desire or intention, or the faculty by which a person decides on and initiates action. Got it? Cool. So what is God's will? Would you believe me if I told you God's will is twofold? We got number one, his sovereign or perfect will. That's the verb form, meaning his will will happen regardless of whatever we do. Then there's his preferred or permissive will. In the noun form, that's the things that he intends for us that will happen, but it's based on our decisions. And believe it or not, our decisions can line up with both God's perfect will and his permissive will at the same time. I'll give you an example, story of Jonah. God's sovereign will was for Nineveh to receive his message and to repent. His preferred will was to use Jonah, who chose to run away and end up being swallowed alive by a big fish. And when Jonah cried out to God from the belly of the fish, it spit him out and he landed in Nineveh. And when he landed there, he ended up telling Nineveh God's message from the beginning and they repented. So of course, the biggest question to answer is, how can you know God's will for your life specifically? A wise pastor taught me this a long time ago, and I never forgot this lesson. Ask yourself these three questions. One, do I have a desire? Because God gives you the desires to do what pleases him. Number two, do I have a peace about it? See, God calls us to live in peace. So if you don't have a peace about the decision you're gonna make, you should probably wait until you have it. Or it's a sign that you shouldn't do it. And number three, is the door open? See, God always opens the door for you to do his will. And any door God opens, there's not one person that can close it. But here's the catch though. You can only move forward with that decision, yes, to all three. Not one and two, not one and three, not two and three, all three. And if you can't, do not do it. Here's a more transparent example to bring it a little closer to home. I always wanted to start and grow a family. And I believe it's God's will for me and my future wife and his timing. Do I have the desire? Yes. Do I have a peace about it? Absolutely. Is the door open? It's like cracked open, but not all the way. But when that door opens though, <sighs> yeah, when that door opens. <laughs> so I hope you were able to learn something from this video. And if you did, let me know what you got from it. And as always, thanks for tuning in to my Sunday morning thoughts.